housekeeping. Can I go to a different door? No, I can't. Looks like that's the only thing I can look at. Oh, hello. I got us adjoining rooms. Of course you can. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. Yeah. And you're missing an arm. Yeah. All Go true. over there. Guys, this is intense. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. All I have is a radio and a knife. Here's everything. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? You seem calm, but you seem kind of crazy. No spoiler Good. alerts, man. Go sit down. Don't spoiler alert me, man. I have never played this. Do you know who I am? No. No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food, water, Things you need to survive. I didn't take any. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't ours. We couldn't pack. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Okay. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. Yes, of course. Who? My wife. My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I hurt her a long time ago. How? Uh, I murdered her boyfriend. In a lot of ways. Might as well be honest with him. He's probably going to kill she me. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long. Can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. 
I came back without him, and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Was that the crazy lady? Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I would do it differently if I could. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. Man, you really watched everything I did. Save him. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. What are you talking about? I didn't steal your stuff. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our plan? Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. Take care of her. Sorry again. I'm sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Oh, it's gonna get violent. Hey, Good. honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you? I'm glad too. I wish this it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but. It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Come on, come on, come on. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, oh, it's okay. okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Give her the gun. Hey. You pulled the trigger. I... I know. I wish... I wish you'd never had to learn that. Me too. Which way out? Through there. I can't believe he's stinking. Has his wife's head in his back. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Holy crap, man. Can I take my, uh... Oh yeah, let's look at him. Okay, let's go, Clementine. Something bad's gonna happen. Savannah. Sorry, sorry, girl. You're gonna have to get covered in blood. You might want to pinch your nose. And close your eyes. Thanks for everybody sticking around and watching. Hope you're having a good evening. Feel free to join the chat and chat it up, my friends. Sorry, girly. Get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> 